I am setting myself up for success with these low point Weight Watcher foods. Hello, these are my top food staples that I am sharing with you today. I'm gonna start off with all my freezer and refrigerator foods first and then I can get that stuff put away. Light sour cream. I use this all the time. We love our tacos and Mexican food and I even eat this on baked potatoes. So light sour cream for me is a must. For one tablespoon, it's one point. Eggo buttermilk waffles. One of these for me is three points. Now I have checked on like the home sale and all the other ones that they have out there and they are higher points for me, but the buttermilk waffles actually work in my point range. For two of these, it's seven points. But I usually do one and then I have like eggs and stuff on the side because for me, eggs are free. Velveeta cheese slices, I would be lost without these. One point per one slice of cheese. I eat these in wraps, toasted cheese sandwiches. Yeah, I do a lot with these, I love them. I tried the Velveeta shredded cheese and I was not crazy about it. I think it was the texture of it. I don't know, I wasn't crazy about it. So I found the Kraft fat-free cheese. They have cheddar and mozzarella and you can get a fourth to a half a cup is one point for these cheeses. I love these. I use these on everything as well. I mean, they're great on salads, taco bowls, burrito bowls, nachos, you know, the list goes on and on. This was a recent discovery at Sam's Club. I have this in one of my videos. I'll have it linked below. It is Weight Watcher Foods at Sam's Club. These are delicious. And I am very picky when it comes to any kind of a sausage snack stick or beef jerky. I know what I like and I have to have it where it doesn't feel like greasy and it can't be too spicy. These are perfect. They are the Old Wisconsin Snack Bites. Now, if you do get these, you once they are opened, you have to put them in the refrigerator and it says they'll only last up to seven days. I'm sure they last longer in the refrigerator, but these are really good. I highly recommend them. I can have six of these for two points. Love my guacamole. <laughs> I love these on, again, tacos. You can eat this on toast. You can have them on nachos, fajitas. A lot of times I'll order fajitas at a restaurant and bring it home and I will use this on my fajitas because it's less points than what it is in the restaurant. So a half of one of these cups is one point and a whole one would be three points for me. We love Asian food and I've discovered that these are not bad in points. I buy these at Walmart. They are the Taipei egg rolls. These ones are pork. Now I think that if I got the chicken next time, I think the chicken would be less points. So I'm going to try that next time, but the pork is so good. So for one of these egg rolls, it is three points. They make a really good little side to go with fried rice and all that good stuff teriyaki chicken and I have to tell you I am truly kind of a little bit obsessed with this these are mini wontons make sure they say mini and I found these at Walmart these ones are chicken and vegetable and they also have pork too but these are less in points for me I can have six of these for only two points these are so good for a snack. Seriously, I've done that at night. I have made them in my air fryer and snacked on them. They're just that good. They're also perfect in Asian meals and be watching for an upcoming video in September because I have a lunch that I'm gonna be putting together using these. So good, I'm looking forward to it. This is at Walmart. This is a bag of vegetables. It also has potatoes, which are free for me, and it has every kind of vegetable, which is perfect for vegetable soup. No chopping, no moss, no fuss. You pour it into your soup pot, make your soup, zero points. There's all vegetables in here. It is so good. And you can find it in the freezer section of Walmart. Shredded hash browns are a definite staple. I always have these in my freezer. These are zero points for me. I usually make them in my air fryer. I put seasonings on them and I'm also going to be showing you recipes coming up in September for breakfast Weight Watcher meals. So make sure that you're subscribed. You have the notification bell on and you're watching for that video. 
let's talk turkey bacon. <laughs> I just recently discovered this at Sam's Club. You can get three packs of turkey bacon at Sam's Club all at once in one fair swoop. And I love it because then whenever I'm wanting some bacon, I just pull out a pack, cook it up, and I'm ready to add it to a meal. These are one point per slice for me. I have only found these at Target. These are the black and chicken strips. They are a little bit spicy, but my goodness are they delicious on salad and in wrap. These are usually at Target as well. These are a Naturals gluten-free breaded chicken breast strip. They are seasoned. They are so good. So if you like a little bit of a breading on your chicken, this is really delicious. And these are, for me, three ounces is six points. Chicken is zero points for me on my Weight Watcher program. We buy ours at Sam's Club. We buy it in bulk and then Jason, sweet Jason, he trims it up really well and then we store it in freezer bags in our freezers. You can do so much with chicken and with it being zero points, to me that is just an added bonus. Speaking of chicken, Friday I have a video coming out where I am making all chicken meals and get ready because you are gonna wanna add these chicken meals to your meal plan this week. This is a zero sugar Roddy Whip whipped cream. My goodness, is this good. You would never know that it has no sugar in this. I found three of these cans at Sam's Club and I'm working my way through them quite easily because I really like whipped cream. <laughs> I eat it on all kinds of things, including Fiber One bars, really good on that. In iced coffee. Just saying. This is definitely a staple. I would miss this if I didn't have it. And it was a really good find. If you've been following me for a while, you know I love coffee. And I have discovered a way to make iced coffee that is four points for me on my Weight Watcher program. Well, to help me out with that coffee, I use fat-free half and half. But not only for coffee, I use this also in recipes, which I'll be sharing those coming up in September. Four tablespoons is only one point. Speaking of coffee, for quite a while, all I was using was the cold brew Dunkin' Coffee, which is so good, but I have discovered Stoke Coffee and I'm really liking this. The dark purple label is a darker coffee and they also have a yellow label, which I wanna try. But this one is the one that we seem to keep reaching for. I really like it. It is an unsweet cold brew coffee, which is zero points. So I try to drink a lot of water during the day and I usually have a cup that I fill up and I just sip on that. But for a special treat, I have really been enjoying Hint Water. I know there's a lot of different water brands out there that you can get electrolytes and all that stuff in it, but this is just water with a hint of fruit in it. I get mine from Sam's Club. They have a lot of different kinds to choose from. This one is a strawberry lemon. They also have blackberry lemon, blueberry lemon, and then they have just plain, just blackberry, just strawberry. My favorite ones are the mixed fruit. This is a great substitution instead of me grabbing for a pop. It has zero calories, zero sweeteners, it's zero points. I could even fill up my water jug if I wanted to and drink it. This is a staple I really and truly would be lost without. And these are the La Banderita Carb Counter Tortillas. For one tortilla, it is one point. I get the pack with eight of them in it. I know there's a pack, I believe, with 10. Those ones are higher in point for me, so I had to stay aware to just get the pack with the eight in it. I use these for, I mean, breakfasts and lunches, and these are just endless things to do with. You can make pizza out of them. This is a new discovery to me. I really and truly had no idea that they made cornflake crumbs. Did you know that? You probably already knew that. I'm always late to the game. But anyway, if you like a coating on your chicken, you can use these cornflake crumbs and they're not that much in points. For two tablespoons, it's only one point. I do have a recipe coming up in September where I will be using these and you are definitely going to want that recipe. I used to use this all the time, but I kind of got away from it. I don't know why, but I did. And it is the PB2 peanut butter. This one is a peanut butter with cocoa. I 
ordered the one with just peanut butter, but they ended up giving me the one with cocoa, which is fine, I'll use it, but I still wanna get the one where it's just peanut butter. My goodness, can you do a lot with this? You can mix it with water and drizzle it over apples and make like an apple nacho. You can drizzle it over, do you see the theme here? <laughs> a fiber one bar. There's a lot that you can do with this. I also am gonna be adding this in one of my breakfast recipes coming up in September. But for two tablespoons, this is only one point. Again, I know I'm late to the game. This is a new discovery for me. I am wanting to start baking and putting things together for the fall and winter seasons and Lily's chips are where it's at. My oldest son, Justin, absolutely loves chocolate chips. He loves chocolate chip cookies. So I had him try some of these and he said you can't tell the difference between the Nestle chocolate chips and Lily's chocolate chips. He's like, hmm, those are really super good. When, when, you can get 30 chips for two points. And uh, yeah, there's so many things that you can do with these. You can drizzle this with the PB2. Peanut butter chocolate banana or peanut butter chocolate strawberries. Oh my goodness. My all time favorite bread is the Sara Lee 45 calorie delight. One point per one slice. I've tried other low calorie breads and this is the only one that I truly like. Tuna fish is a definite staple. I didn't realize that Great Value made tuna fish. I usually just use the Bumblebee, I believe, albacore tuna, but I always get my tuna fish in water and that's what this is, is an albacore tuna in water by Great Value. So I love tuna fish sandwiches and I put onion and celery and then I top it with lettuce and oh, it's so good. So yeah, this is a definite staple always in my pantry. Potatoes are free for me, but sometimes I just want a different kind of potato and I reach for these. These are an instant potato and they are a home style buttery mashed potato. They take just minutes to make up and for a fourth cup, it is four points. These are always in my pantry. These are free food for me. I use my air fryer a ton with potatoes. I make potato wedges. I just slice up potatoes and put them in there. I've made like french fry style potatoes and then I season them with whatever I wanna season them with and that's a free food for me. So those you can always find in my pantry. Lakanto Organic Monk Fruit Sweetener is really good. You can have this in your coffee if you need like some sugar in your coffee but I am looking forward to baking with this coming up this fall and winter season. I find mine on Amazon and I'll have the link below. But if you're looking for a really good sugar that is all natural and pretty good for you, monk fruit is where it's at. I really read up on the different kinds of sugars before I started adding it into my foods. And this one is the best so far. Me and my husband, Jason, we love to cook breakfasts on the weekends. We like to have brunches, let's say, on the weekend. And one of my go-to things that I use is the Kodiak cake mix. I don't have the box because I put it in this container. I will have this container linked below. It's on Amazon. It has a little pour spout. This is a measuring cup. My favorite way to make Kodiak pancakes is blueberry banana. That way I don't even have to have syrup. I don't miss syrup with the banana in there it sweetens the pancakes just enough it is so good you could also add some lily's chips and have chocolate chip pancakes if that's what you choose i might do that one day that actually sounds really good but this is a definite staple in my home and i make these pancakes all the time oh and again i'm going to be sharing something that i'm going to be making with this pancake mix in September for my Weight Watcher breakfast video. I hope this gave you some great ideas for low calorie, keto, or Weight Watcher type staples to add to your pantry and freezer. Don't stop watching now. Here are two more Weight Watcher videos that I know you will love. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you soon.